We go to Idaho, and that's where Steve Tiersma is after arriving home from Florida from the baseball trip or back in Sioux Center from the baseball trip. It was probably a short turnaround and then uh, off to Idaho. And uh, Steve, tell me about the days leading up to uh, what ended up being the final days of the baseball season. And uh, where was where was COVID-19 on your radar leading up to that last Friday of the baseball season? Yeah, it it really wasn't on my radar at all, actually. We were in Arizona, actually in Tucson, and um, we heard of what was going on, the pandemic, and I just thought it was going to be a wave and pass over. Um, but actually, it, it got worse, obviously, and we were told that once we get home, we need to leave Dort and go back to uh, where our home state was, for me, Idaho. And um, it was wild. The days leading up to it were were uh, sadly the most the most fun part uh, sports and and ba- playing baseball with my with my brothers on the team and then all of a sudden uh, it was over. What uh, what was the emotional state of the team? I guess knowing that uh, you were going to have things shut down on that Friday. Um, it was it was sad. It, we could definitely tell. I could definitely tell that um, people weren't ready for it to end. It felt like we we're just getting started with. Uh, Coach Bacon leading us. Uh, but for me personally, I still had a feeling somewhat that we were going to come back. It wasn't the end. It was it was just going to only be a little setback. Um, but then a couple days later, we got the news. And then that's when that's when it was really tough. That's when it hit the most. Take me through, uh, you're a senior now, take me through uh, being a high school senior, making a decision on where to go to school. Uh, what, what put Dort University in front and uh, finally making the decision to come there. Yeah, it was it was actually a roller coaster for me. I didn't start out at Dort. I started out at College of Idaho and then uh, decided to come to decided to come to Dort uh, based off of just some reflection and and it was uh, it was the best decision I ever made. Coming here, uh, the connections I have, the people I met, um, the coaches I've uh, learned from, they've really they've really shaped how I'm going to live for. The rest of my life it's not just the one-stop journey uh, instead it's instead it's you know picking what you're going to do for the rest of your life and who's going to influence you in that way your baseball season cut short uh, went through a coaching transition this past year it seemed like the baseball team you were playing some pretty good baseball when the season came to an end i uh, took some losses maybe didn't have quite the pitching depth we had hoped for and that takes a while to build that up but it just sent, it seemed like this team genuinely liked being around each other is that accurate oh absolutely absolutely um it was it was a unique experience uh the shift from last year to this year was uh was massive it was it was incredible and i think i, I have talked about the, the, the cornerstone which we built the foundation for the upcoming years and um it's exciting to see where they're going to be. It's, I'm a little, uh, little sad I won't be able to be a part of it, but uh, my younger brother just committed to play baseball there, so I'll, I'm excited to uh, support him and, um, and see where it goes. Yeah, I saw his recruit sheet come through earlier, and I, I thought that was your brother. What influence did you have on him selecting Dor? No, it, was there any influence? Um, I, I really just tried to help Matthew and, and, uh, and tell him that, Pick a college that best suits you. And obviously, he came to Dort, uh, got a scholarship, and loved it. Loved Iowa, loved the community. And um, and I kept telling him, I've I've seen you support me. I've had you support me for the past four years at Dort, uh, and I'm more than happy to support you. So I might be done playing at Dort baseball, but I'm I'm definitely not done with the program itself. So I had I had little influence on Matthew, but I'm I'm happy that he chose Dort and uh, and uh, gets to work out there. Your baseball season, uh, your playing career finished now in terms of collegiate competition. How are you going to how are, how are you going to scratch that competitive itch now that you're done playing collegiate baseball? It's it's tough. It's definitely tough. Um, but like I've said, I have so many people supporting me in the past, uh, and now it's my turn to support them. Uh, I'm helping Matthew work out, trying to give him a couple tips on. Uh, what door baseball is like, what college baseball is like. I've got a younger brother um, 
that can, so I can kind of help him a little bit too. And then always living with, uh, with uh, three brothers, it's kind of uh, difficult to get rid of that uh, competitive edge. So um, it's going to take some getting used to for sure, but um, I'll find a way to do it somehow and uh, support everyone else who uh, has supported me along the way. You are in the midst of finishing up your final semester. You're online. You're you're on track to graduate. What did you study while you were at Dorton? What are you finishing up? Yeah, so I went in as a communication major. Um, so I'm finishing up communication, but now I have a minor in HR business. Okay, and what what are the plans after graduation in May? Well, uh, kind of going back to the question a while ago, I want to I want to still stay in sports. I that competitive side's too. Uh, uh, too much in me. So I'm going to stay in sports. I'm either going to be a communication director for the Idaho Steel Edge, which is a hockey team here, or the Boise Hawks, which is a rookie league team for the Colorado Rockies. What would, what does that job look like? What are those, uh, what are the skills? What do you need to do to do those jobs? A lot of it is, is relaying, is being the mediator between the team and the fans. So that is media products are uh, coming up with a calendar for for special events um, and trying to give that connection to the team as much to the fans as possible. And, you know, playing college sports, I think that's definitely helped me to see what the fans want and also to know the limits to where the team can actually provide. So it's going to be interesting and I'm excited for the next step for sure. How did you get connected with those organizations? Yeah, so I actually have a good friend who works for the Steelheads and works for the CenturyLink Arena where they play. And um, he definitely connected me to them. And then he also has the same connection to the Boise Hawks organization. So uh, it's all about those connections. Steve, I wish you the best. Uh, finish up your semester well. Thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to me. And best wishes as you transition into uh, sports media. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me.